Hi, my name is Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video we're going to learn about an advanced configuration, specifically using the Data Sources tab in Iron Speed Designer. For this example, we're using an Iron Speed project that is based on the familiar Southwind database. As you can see, I've tried to keep this pretty simple. We have categories and customers, which are the two tables that we built pages for. So when we run our app, we start off on the categories table page, which has our list of categories, and we can drill down into any of them, within which we will find the category name and the description picture, all of that, and all the products that are part of that category. So let's go back to our project in Iron Speed Designer. We're going to look at the Show Category Table page that we were just looking at, and you can see that there are a bunch of tabs along the top, one of which is called Data Sources. And you can see that there are uh, three queries here, but what we want to concentrate on is our Category Table query. Now what I'm going to do is move this down so that you can see the whole, you can see a little bit of the design view of the page and I'm going to just go back out to the show category uh, the category table control. So when we look at it we could see that under data sources it is doing we could see the select statement that it is performing in the perform a query sub tab and we could see that it's used by one control the categories table control and we can choose to edit this query Let's look at it and we'll see what it's doing. It's selecting uh, all of our fields from the category table. What we can do is add a WHERE clause to change the way it queries the database. So we could say categories, choose uh, categories only where the category name is equal to condiments. And I will save that and we'll hit finish. So if we look now, we see now that it has changed the select statement. And let's try to run our updated application. Lo and behold, our category table page now only shows condiments. Uh, but we could go and use that data sources tab to change the way other information is displayed. For instance, on the edit categories page, which we drill down to, we notice that uh, all the products are showing, but there may be a situation in which you may want to show only uh, products where the units in stock are above 20. Um, you only, only want to show those. And in that situation, uh, you would just do the following. Going back into our Iron Speed project, we'll go to the Edit Categories page. And we're going to go all the way to the top level. One of the things that we see is the Category Record Control, and underneath it, the Products Table Control. And if we look at that and we highlight it, it does the same below in the Data Resources tab. And again, you could see that it is performing a select query and it is performing it where the product's category ID equals the category's category ID to make sure that it is linking the products with the categories. But we can go ahead and edit that and add one more where clause. And we can say where products units in stock is greater than, and we don't need quotes here because it's a numerical value, 20. And we hit OK, we hit Finish, and we run it again. Back in our application, I'm going to go ahead and edit condiments, and then I have on my condiments record control, and we have our products underneath the condiments record control, but as you can see, there is not one item, unlike the last time, where the units in stock 
is below 20. It's important to note that we've just touched upon a few of many things that can be done in the query wizard. For instance, uh, you can add any kind of where clause that has a whole bunch of different possible operators that you can use. You can use the formulas, which of which there are many videos covering it, to filter by logged in user, among other things. And you can use this interface to perform more complex joins, adding other tables into the mix. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more information, you can visit the Iron Speed forums or the knowledge base. Thanks for watching.